Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to answer the question, what is this gold clip on the bottom of a Leviton uh, device? And the answer is this gold clip is called a self-grounding clip. And they come on uh, many of the uh, newer Leviton devices. This happens to be a ground fault circuit interrupter. You'll notice uh, other devices have them also. This is a Decora Plus uh, receptacle by Leviton. Uh, this is the new USB charging receptacle. You notice it doesn't have one. This is the uh, Leviton GFCI with guide lights and notice it does have one. This is a 20 amp GFCI uh, weather resistant and you notice it doesn't have one. So uh, some of them do uh, have the self grounding clips and some of them don't. When you uh, connect your metal box to the ground system uh, for your house that's called bonding and uh, this is an equipment bonding jumper that's what it's called in the uh, in the code book equipment bonding jumper if you go to buy one then it's called a grounding pigtail but in the code book it's called an equipment bonding jumper and it's actually a more accurate name than grounding pigtail because it does bond your equipment to the grounding system. The advantage to having a self grounding clip is that if you install your receptacle properly and it has a self grounding clip you don't need this equipment bonding jumper. So uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and install this uh, guide lighted GFCI that has the self grounding clip. So I'll just go ahead and take this equipment bonding jumper also known as grounding pigtail off okay I've removed the equipment bonding jumper from the box and uh, we're just going to rely on the self grounding clip now to use the self grounding clip you have to take off this washer this little paper washer right here it always has to come off it has to be metal to metal here we are at the 2020 NEC article 250.146 connecting receptacle grounding terminal to an equipment grounding conductor. An equipment bonding jumper shall be used to connect the grounding terminal of a grounding type receptacle to a metal box that is connected to an equipment grounding conductor except as permitted in article 250.146 a through d the equipment bonding jumper shall be sized in accordance with table 250.122 so here's a right here surface mounted box if a metal box is mounted on the surface the direct metal to metal contact between the device yoke or strap to the box shall be permitted to provide the required effective ground fault current path at least one of the insulating washers shall be removed from receptacles that do not have a contact yoke or device to ensure direct metal to metal contact. Direct metal to metal contact for providing continuity applies to cover mounted receptacles if the box and cover combination are listed as providing satisfactory continuity between the box and the receptacle. And here we have B contact devices or yokes contact devices or yokes designed and listed as self grounding shall be permitted in conjunction with the supporting screws 
to establish equipment bonding between the device yoke and flush type boxes. So the devices must be designed and listed as self-grounding. And the ones I uh, showed you with the self-grounding clips are. I uh, spoke with a Leviton a technical representative. I asked them if, if any their devices without the self-grounding clips will fulfill this uh, design and list the self-grounding clause here. And he said, no, just the one with the self-grounding clips. Even though I've turned the uh, circuit breaker off, I'm going to use my fluke voltage detector to uh, double check and make sure the electricity is off. And it is. It's off. Now I'm going to hook the uh, hot black wire and the neutral wire to the line of the ground fault circuit interrupter. The black wire is going to go to this bronze screw and the white wire is going to go to the silver screw. Remember we've double checked to make sure the electricity is off. So first thing I'm going to do is take the ground and hook it up. Put it right down here. Okay, it's on real nicely. Next I'm going to take the neutral and I'm going to put it underneath the uh, terminal with the silver screw and tighten that down. And this is on the line side of the ground fault circuit interrupter. So now we're going to take the black, the hot lead, and put it on underneath the uh, brass screw of the line side of the ground fault circuit interrupter. Now I'm just going to put some electrician's tape around the receptacle for a little extra protection. Now with the receptacle right in the middle of the box, tighten it down so the yoke is touching the the yoke of the receptacle, that's this part, is very well connected to the metal box. This is my Sperry Stop Shock GFCI tester. Notice that uh, right here, uh, correct is represented by one green light right in the middle. So we'll go ahead and plug it in. And there it is. That's correct wiring. And now I'm going to press the button I showed you. There. That worked great. Now press the reset button. And we're back to one green light. For the next test, I'm going to test the bonding of the box itself. Remember, we just used the self-grounding clip to do the bonding. For the test, I'm going to be using my Klein CL2000 True RMS uh, voltage meter. And uh, normally, you could just put one uh, lead into the positive portion of the uh, receptacle and one on the box but the problem is uh, this is a tamper resistant receptacle so I'm going to use an adapter uh, remember the positive side is right here this is the short it's the short side so I'm going to put the adapter right in there I'm going to put my uh, black lead right into the positive slot of the adapter and I'm going to uh, touch the red probe to the metal box itself. And we have 120.7 volts. So that shows you you have an excellently bonded box. The self grounding clip did a great job. You see it it uh, carries in an emergency it could uh, carry the voltage to ground. So the self grounding clip of the Leviton GFCI has uh, passed all the tests that I gave it. In my video description I'll put a link for the Leviton guide lighted GFCI, the standard Leviton GFCI, the Leviton Decora Plus uh, receptacle, all of which have uh, self-grounding clips. 
Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.